Hello everyone, this is Sujata. In this video, we will discuss genetics, Hardy-Weinberg equation. What is the Hardy-Weinberg law or equation? This equation states that p square plus 2pq plus q square equals 1, where p and q are two alleles of a gene, p being the normal or disease-free allele, whereas q being the abnormal or disease-causing allele. p square or homozygous for the normal allele gives the disease-free population state, whereas p plus q equals to 1. Hardy-Weinberg's equation or law in autosomal recessive diseases. In autosomal recessive diseases, we need two diseased allele or two diseased chromosomes to get the disease, whereas we need only one diseased allele to get a carrier state. Therefore, P square, which is the homozygous normal state, will be a totally disease-free state. Q square, which is homozygous for the diseased allele, will give you the frequency of the diseased population in an autosomal recessive disease. 2PQ, on the other hand, will give you the frequency of carrier population of an autosomal recessive disease. Let's look at an application of Hardy-Weinberg equation in autosomal recessive disease. Tay-Sachs is an autosomal recessive disorder. It has a frequency of 1 in 400 in the Ashkenazi Jewish population. How will you calculate the carrier frequency of Tay-Sachs disease? Since the frequency of Tay-Sachs is 1 in 400 and we know it is an autosomal recessive disorder, that means 1 in 400 stands for the value of Q square or homozygous diseased or homozygous abnormal chromosome. So from that we can calculate the value of Q which will be 1 in 20. To calculate the carrier frequency of an autosomal recessive disorder, we need 2PQ we already have the value for Q and the value for P can be found from the formula P plus Q equals 1 which will be approximately 1. So the carrier frequency will come out to 2 times 1 times 1 in 20 which is 1 in 10. X-linked recessive disorders Males carry only one X chromosome, while females carry two X chromosomes. So if a male carries the diseased X chromosome, then he will suffer from the X-linked recessive disorder. On the other hand, since females carry two X chromosomes, one of them will be a normal and the other is likely to be abnormal. So females are likely to be carriers and not suffer from X-linked recessive disorders. Therefore, in X-linked recessive disorders, the incidence in males is equal to Q. The incidence in females is equal to Q square because they need two diseased genes to get the disease. And on the other hand, the frequency of carriers will be equal to 2PQ. Let's look at application of Hardy-Weinberg equation in X-linked recessive disorder. Color blindness is an X-linked recessive disease with a frequency of 1 in 400 males. Calculate the carrier frequency of color blindness. The carrier frequency of an X-linked recessive disorder is given by 2PQ. The incidence of in males is Q, so 1 in 400 will be equal to Q. 2PQ will be 2 times 1 times 1 in 400 equals to 1 in 200. So the carrier frequency of color blindness will be 1 in 200. Hope this video helped you understand the application of Hardy-Weinberg equation. Thanks for watching.
Hi, I am Sujata. If you enjoyed this video, then you will love the courses I authored for Achievable. Achievable Step 1 USMLE course is a great learning program if you are looking for high-value, information-rich study materials that use technology to help you pass the exam. I have written the course exclusively for Achievable, including all the medical content that is covered by the USMLE Step 1 exam. It includes more videos just like these to cover key topics, as well as an inbuilt study planner to keep you on track. With the help of hundreds of chapter review questions, our space repetition algorithm personalizes the content just for you. Our course is very competitively priced, and you can try it for free first to see if the style is right for you. Follow the links in the description below to get started.